自然豊かな行楽サマーキャンプ避暑地には夏の魔物なる脅威が現れるフェイトグランドオーダーサーバントサマーキャンプカルデアスリラーナイトさあついてきなさい後輩 Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We have some missions that we completed,、uh, that which I will check off right now. We've defeated 60 humans and or chickens, as well as the saber class enemies. Now, the next banner has come out, the second banner. And if I'm going to be honest, I was thinking of rolling it, and then. And I hate to be this person. I hate to be this person. But then I looked, and Abigail Williams is like the lowest, like, tiered five star servant on the、um, game press there, which I shouldn't be using as an actual unit of measurement. I really shouldn't. However, if she was good, I think she'd be great. But, you know. I, if she's not, then I think I'm fine. I might do just an 11 roll just for funsies, but I don't I don't think I'll be going for anyone. Also, what, uh, what's that cat's name, Abigail? Huh? What's, uh, who's, who, 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 whose cat is that? And, uh, is, is it who I think it is? Hmm? Is it, uh, is, is, that, is that that cat? Hmm. Also, fun fact to the Grand Order Discord、uh, only her second ascension is allowed to be shown because everything else breaks Reddit, or rather, Discord TOS. So, yeah, let's, let's run it once, just see what we get. This is just for funsies mostly.、Um, we'll see here. Let's see. Let's play it out and see what we get. Oh, wow, it's a day after. Still don't know who that blonde was. I don't know either of those characters, honestly. Okay. What are we getting now? Hey, I'm happy to get one of those actually. That is something that I actually do want to make my. Well, there's not a lot to grind for, really. Okay, now I'm clicking. I'm clicking. It's too annoying to not. Heart of Death. Okay. And covering fire. Son of a gun. Are you freaking kidding me? Which one? Wow! Okay! Alright! Sure! What the frick? This is messed up, yo! Wow! People are gonna be so mad because I saw someone saying that it cost like 2,000 state courts to get an Abigail. Oof! Stop. Don't like the word pupa. And what's that cat's name? Say it. I cannot believe that my stupid role got her. I'm kind of mad. That's what I get for putting her down as a bad servant, because now I gotta use materials and stuff. Wow! Okay! Buck wild. Bucketh wildeth. Um, do I even have anything for her at this point? No, I mean, I have a little bit, but like, that's it. Dang, alright. I mean, we can give these, because why not? Let's get at least a couple levels. That's insane. Well, there's our Abby. Just in insanity. Ridiculous. Okay, well. I did a bunch of quests here. Welcoming morning. Dawn is breaking. Good morning, world. Feed six dragon types. I think we've got that, haven't we? Have we not done six dragon types? No! Cool, so we already got a cut. I wonder what they mean by divine traits. I'm, I don't know who that would be. Um. Okay, well. Time to be the. Oh, because only you count as. Wow, I gotta do this a bunch of times? Dang, I kinda wish I did then. Alright, see you guys in a sec.
All right, there we go. We have cleared that away, meaning I can go and unlock some of these because we got a couple. We need to defeat some more big boys. And can you go back to in this one, please? Thank you. Uh, rare enemies. Get some pages. Very nice. You might have that, too. Nope. Nope. Uh, and finally, we get one more of this. Is that our fifth one? As if so, we can MLB. We'll, we'll have to see here. Let's see. How are we doing? We got no four. Okay. Well, let's go by acquisition because then we can sort of. S well, let's go with uh, the event ones here and then by rarity. Let's see. Is there any we can like. I mean, we could combine these now at this point, honestly. Yeah. So let's go with. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't know which ones are equipped, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Put those on. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. We got that. Snuxess. And otherwise, yeah, nothing else just yet. We need one more of those before we can really have that good to go. Okay, well, support only. Welcome to the Ghost Cabin story. Sounds a little spooky. It's probably not. I mean, our, our biggest jump scare so far has just been a full screen Abigail Williams, which is a jump scare for not the reasons I think they expect. Oh, this tent showed up in the woods out of nowhere. I wonder what it's doing here. Oh, there's a sign. Let's see. Beat the heat in the scary story shack. Free admission open to all. Interesting. Let's see what this is all about. Who'd be the story? Who, who will be the storyteller? Let's see. It's certainly very dark in here. Oh, they must be about to start. How exciting. Oh, it's got the border. This is the tale of the earless Hoichi. Graphics are for illustrative purposes, yeah, because he very clearly has an ear. Once upon a time, there was a Biwa monk named Hoichi who lived in a temple. Though Hoichi was blind, he was also incredibly skilled at telling the tale of ha Heiki, accompanied by his own Biwa music. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so, having lost both of his ears, he was known as Earless Hoichi for the rest of his days, the end. Well, that's... Okay. That's the story? I see. I don't know what that had to do with beating the heat, but it certainly was a fascinating story. I still can't believe that samurai ghost took just Hoichi's ears back with him, but I suppose these kinds of scary stories aren't entirely supposed to make sense. Still, this was an important reminder of those who guide the dead, of how those who guide the dead should take their duties seriously. Huh? Next, we have the tale. Okay, another one. Oh, it's snowy. Of the terrible snow woman. Yeah! Yukiona! Yeah, 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 yeah! I love this story. Once upon a time, there were two woodcutters, an old man named Mosaku and a young man named Minokichi. One day, the two woodcutters found themselves caught in a sudden and terrible blizzard and decided to spend the night in a small wooden shed. Yeah, I know this story. Next, we have A Serpent's Lust from the Tales of Moonlight and Rain. So I just have to perform my own story from do do ju 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 do ju ju Okay, actor portrayal, understood. But you know, my real life was a tragic love story, not a scary one. What's that? The picture scroll is definitely scary? No, I'm quite sure it's a tale of pure love. Uh... Yeah, there's a couple that can tell their own stories. Next, we shall hear some stories from the West. We'll begin with the terrible, tragic tale of Frankenstein. Fran show? That's amazing. I'm a monster, girl. Uh... <laughs> Next, we have the chilling tale of Salome and the Severed Head. John the Baptist, you mean I can have his head again? Oh, how wonderful. 
Uh, yeah, now they're just telling their own stories. That's all for tonight. Really just pumping them out, huh? I still have a lot of questions, but at least those stories were entertaining. Although now my body's all stiff from listening so intently for so long. My neck and shoulders are cracking with every movement I make. Oh no, that's terrible. Lethargy, dehydration, blood clots. Those are all signs of deep vein thrombosis. I have to do something before she dies. Change of plans instead of the usual curtain call. Oh, this is Scheherazade. We'll be closing our show in a musical style complete with audience participation. Please feel free to sing, dance, and move your body together with the rest of the cast. Naturally, since I also barely moved a muscle apart from my vocal cords, I'll be taking part as well. For I have absolutely no desire to die. Audience participate. Nobody said anything about audience. Yeah, that's the worst. When you go to something and it's like surprise audience participation, it's like, uh, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Nothing worse than getting voluntold. Okay, I, won I wonder who that's going to be. Even though it's going to be fairly obvious now that we've known. I guess... I guess the thing is, if you haven't beat her story, you wouldn't know that, right? Yep. Oh, we're battling all the actors? Okay, that's kind of fun. Okay, so... Let us sing and dance together. Charge each turn. Jeez, this battle actually looks like it might be a problem. Um, Let's start with... What level are, are your skills at? Does that actually say? Can I check? Eight? Cool. That's 100% right there. Nice. Death chance up. Let's do this. Because that'll probably kill you. And if not, then we can do a full combo. In fact, you know, oh, I was going to use my skill to get more, but I can't. All right, whatever, whatever she doesn't kill, then we will instead get through the, um, some, some returned stuff. Let's see. No deaths at all. Dang. I thought Salome being level three would result in that, but I guess not. Okay. What a noise. Natural body figure, debuff immune invincible. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot, actually. So you're invincible, right? Is it one left? Okay, so that means we could kill her here. So we can go like one, two, and then three. That kills you. Okay. Ow. God, that's a lot of hits, huh? Okay. Um. Mm, I can do another full combo with her, actually. That might be the best idea. And you know what? Let's... Mm, remove debuffs. You don't have any debuffs. Let's go... Because this is, this is only from one, right? Increase arts for yourself. I don't know if I want to use this yet. And they're, they're, they're male, so it wouldn't even matter. Um, well, let's put on the guts at least. Right, just in case. And let's go again. One, two, three. Do as much as we can. We still have the death chance up, so there's a chance we can get it right away. We'll see here. It's a small amount, but it's an amount regardless. Nope. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, we might be hit with a couple strong noble phantasms right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This isn't good. I don't know if I've seen her noble phant. Okay, well, I've seen yours. Ow. You have guts, though. Please don't go for her unless it hits both. Oh, that's rad. Good. 
Oh, stun though. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh, jeez. Discharge? Frick. I think we might lose this one, gang. I mean, we could do this and win, but I want to keep that. But you're going to... Mm, you're going to die anyways in case we just... Mm, we're going to pop this just to kill them. And hopefully the next one we can insta-kill. Probably not. How much refund do you get for that? Not a ton. Okay. We're having a bit of a rough one, gang. Oh, leader temp. Okay, well, this actually might be fine. Um, are you male? Do you count? Nope. And decrease charge, increase... Okay. So let's just go, again, full combo with you. Do as much as we can. The ghost will absolutely kill them in a single hit, so we gotta get lucky here. We gotta get real lucky. Well, dang. Okay. Dang, yo, this is this 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 was a surprisingly difficult battle. Yeah, they're wait, no, she might survive. Cause he does very little damage. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Well, this is it. It just comes down to will we do enough damage, huh? Alright, damage check, let's go. Nope! This ain't happening, Chief. Oh boy, we're gonna have to do this again. Yep, we came heckin' close, though. Oh, we can't even use the command spell. Hey, we can use a Saint Quartz, which is interesting. That's interesting. Let's try that again. That, that was tough. I think if we killed Salome in the first hit, we'd probably do better. You know what? I should probably, instead of trying to do the full combo with... Uh, well, that was going to change my thing, but it doesn't matter. Instead of doing the full combo with, um, uh, with Nita Chris, I'm going to do, use it to get meter with, um, yeah, going on and getting meter with, uh, Shahrazad too. Because then I can go, like, back and forth, right? Okay. Plus... If I were to go, which is the one that gives her arts card? Well, I'm going to hold on to that. All right. So let's start with this. And let's go to death success rate up. I mean, the restore HP, I should actually maybe keep. Let's instead just focus on doing damage and save that for a bit of HP restore, right? Remove debuffs, we'll do that later. So let's go one... Two, three to get some with you. Right? We'll give this a shot. Dang, that chance of death sure do be low, huh? It's a decent game. Oof. Yeah, we gotta kill you, though, for sure. Okay, now let's go um, one, two, three again. Just try and get as much meter as possible here. Didn't even kill you. There we go. Come on, big gain. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, we get a bunch each turn, too. Good. Okay, so this should be good for... I think if we use both of these, we should be good, right? And let's get the heal on you. It's a small amount, but it's an amount regardless. And let's go... Because you increase death chance, right? So let's go one, two... And then... Right? And this increases your defense, right? So we should probably pop that too. Decrease attack for a single king enemy. I don't think either of you are labeled as a king. Oh, you gave guts. Oh, cool. Okay. Should have done that before. Uh, let's go... Yeah, one, two, and then 
three. Okay. If it doesn't kill, then we will do good damage too. Okay, and how much are they at? Okay, so the one will definitely die. Good. Nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. We can decrease your... Tra and the good news is you're not going to do a ton of damage to us. Right? So let's go... Charm increase defense for yourself. Let's just increase our defense. Right? Um, and this does remove debuffs. You have no debuffs right now. If he does, we'll hold on to it for that. Uh, again, let's focus on getting that meter because we're going to get a chunk next turn as well. There we go. And then with the attacks, you should raise us up. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. We lost our guts, but that's fine. We can absorb your meter. Okay, we didn't, but that's fine. Um, again, hold on to that for a sec. We're going to now go this order so that you do more damage with your Noble Phantasm. I think we got it this time. Just had to play a little smarter. Crit rate down. And let's see how much we do here because you got, you got Noble Phantasm, Overcharge. You have the... Um, well, no, I think your overcharge does increase that. Never mind. But regardless, you have blue up. Let's see. And there we go. Little bit of a difficult little battle. Not as easy as I would have expected from one of these sort of, uh, you know, missions here. That's fine. We do it. Please don't tell me that says that the next mission I have to do 15 free quests or whatever. I'm still not entirely sure what that was all about, but it was invigorating. Now then. Did you enjoy the show? I figured it was you. And yes, I definitely did. Still, I do have just one little question. Why are you doing this? I heard I could beat the heat, but acting made me all hot and tired. At least the Snow Woman set was nice and cool. I could stay there forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scheherazade asked me to help. We have a lot in common since we both had to deal with cruel kings. So if she needs me to perform my Dance of the Seven Veils, I'm happy to do so. Besides, I might be able to get another John the Baptist head out of this, and I want it so badly. I was rehearsing for the day when Master comes to watch me perform. Dark light, scary stories, the two of us on the edge of our seats leaning closer together. Eek! I'm not sure how you'll be able to do that while you're up on stage performing. By the way, what am I doing here? I thought I was in a different building not too long ago. Did my sheer longing for Master create some kind of illusion? Or there's something else going on? I have no idea. Uh, thank you, but I wasn't acting about the actor's reasons. I was asking about Scheherazade's. What made you want to tell scary stories in a place like this so much you even asked those girls to perform them for added authenticity? If you're doing it for free, it can't be because the Queen of Sheba talked you into it. That's true. Um, well... To be perfectly honest, this singularity scares me. That's fair. The stench of death lingers everywhere in this world of horror and fear. And if the rumors are to be believed, even servants can well and truly die here. However, the horror films that are so closely tied to the singularity are themselves a form of storytelling. So I decided to focus on that aspect and try fighting back. Fighting back? Yes, fighting back. For, as they say... The best way to fight fire is with fire. Uh, okay, I think I understand. Basically, you're using your stories as a form of escapism, right? No. No, not at all. I simply thought if I spent my time telling scary stories to everyone else here, then I would no longer have time to be scared of the singularity. Hmm. I'm not sure that's actually any different from plain escapism. But on the other hand, it was a great attraction, and it should be a great diversion for everyone else who's not busy dying, too. Hmm. Alright, I understand. 
If this is what you feel is best for you, I have no complaints. Besides, I really did enjoy listening to your stories. Uh, thank you. However, I do think this little shack has still plenty of room for improvement. For example, we would have to pull out all the stops if we were to ask Faraz and Mandius to attend, but there just aren't enough stops to pull out. It is possible that your stories would be enough to satisfy him, but that is not a risk I'm willing to take. When it comes to hospitality, you know you've done it right when you're worried you may have done too much. I see. So on that note, I'm going to go shopping. <laughs> Women be shopping, am I right? When I come back, I'll have enough supplies to make this shack into something really special. As luck would have it, there happens to be an enormous wholesale retail of this singularity. Odd, since you wouldn't expect something like that up in the mountains. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? I, um, are you sure? Of course. I know you're busy with the story side of things, so I'll handle the shopping myself. Don't worry, I'll have Medjed there to help me. Well, if you insist, thank you. That being said... Do be careful, Nita Chris. I have a very bad feeling about this. Something tells me there's not a single place in this entire singularity that is truly free of the looming specter of death. Isn't that just how it is in the world? Every day we must confront death as an inevitability and fight back against that inevitability. Bruh. Are we good? Dang it! What do we gotta do now? Dang it! Free quests in the daytime forest. I just, I just want to play a video game. Fine. Let's do some forest quests. I'll see you in a bit. All right, that is done. We are good. Let's get these away. We've defeated more super giants, and there's still more I need to get. But that's it. Only a few more. That's fine. There's a lot of those. And uh, let's get the one that we actually need to move on with the plot, and let's go. Morning, day, night for the living dead. Oh, we're doing Night of the Living Dead. Okay, man. that makes sense. You gotta have zombies. I mean, we've literally been, we've been fighting zombies through this whole game anyways, so this just makes sense. I, I don't know if I love this. Like, it's cute, but I think out of all... It's fast. That's the one thing I'll say about the, that little eye catch. It's fast, which is nice. There is nothing more holy than life and death. Death is what gives li live meaning. And that should be life. And life is what makes death frightening. Some people say that our souls live on forever, even once our physical bodies perish. If we define the soul as something spiritual in nature rather than physical, then these people are correct. Children carry on the love their parents provide them and loyalty from friends inspires further loyalty in others. Even if someone we love should die, their spirit remains alive in our memories. However, what are we to make of those whose bodies remain alive, even though their souls have vanished? They're zombos! Even if such people have no personality, no memories, no feelings, and simply act and react purely on instinct, that would mean they are both the weakest and the most terrible of all the many monsters that inspire horror. Some call such creatures the living dead. Others know them as... Zombies. Hey, could we get the goddess of zombies from Fate Requiem in here? Because she's kind of rad. What a good design for a character no one knows about. Well, we spent the whole night searching for her, and there's no sign of Sessue and Lily anywhere. I even tried contacting the others, but it sounds like she's not with them either. So much for that possibility. Anyway, I know you're all worried about her, but let's just calm down and think for a moment. Let's be honest. Isn't there something about that girl that gives you the sense she'd be fine on her own? What do you think, Master? Well, she is also Yabukuni, and, you know, can turn into a grown woman who fights, but, I mean, yeah. Good point. We may not have seen how she fights, but I think we can say that as a servant, she's optimized for survival above all else. Plus, she speaks more maturely than a lot of adults, so she genuinely doesn't seem like she'd be afraid of anything. That doesn't mean I'm not worried about her, but I do think it means we don't have to panic. Yeah, she's not like a child. Was that the phone? Do we have a phone? Um, do you think we should pick it up? I suppose that may be better than just letting it ring constantly, but even so, I'll answer it. There could be a curse on the other end that's only activated by having Master listen to it. Good idea. I agree. It's best if you handle this. Very well, then. Hello? 
Oh, Lady Sessioin, thank goodness you're all right. We've all been worried sick about you, you know? You want to speak to Master? All right. Yes, he's right here. Here you go. Hello? Oh, that's cute. Good morning, Master. Did you have a good dream last night or a bad dream? Oh, if you're worried about me, don't be. I realized there was something I wanted to look into, so I went off on my own to do that. Got it. Good luck, then. Thank you. Hmm. Although, just don't get upset with me if you don't like where what I'm doing leads. Uh-oh. Anyway, now that you know where I am, you and everyone else can go about your business like usual. You all enjoy days spent you all enjoy days spent thinking about your hopes and dreams as much as the next person, right? The short version is sounds like she's safe and sound. Mm. Well, unless and until we find some new evidence or some new structure pops up seemingly out of nowhere, there isn't much we can do for now. I feel a lot better now, probably thanks to all that sleep I got. Me too! Then why don't we go investigate the nearby area? Well, Master Lord Emya and the others who stood guard yesterday stay here and recuperate until the afternoon. That's fine with me, but are you sure you don't mind? I don't have a problem with it. And with these two around, anyone who's not me shouldn't have to worry about dying. Probably. Alright, I can, can't say I'm entirely unconcerned. But if you insist, I have no reason to stop you. Okay then, Tanner. Enjoy your relaxing morning! Yeah, just focus on taking it slow and easy. Maybe go catch some cicadas or something. Isn't that something only little kids do? Huh? Why would you want to catch something that loud and annoying? Can't be any, they can't be any more pleasant to listen to when they're right up in your face. There's all sorts of ways to enjoy summer vacation. You can make some great memories just by playing and having fun. If you say so. Alright, we're gonna get going. We'll be back around noon. You know, if there's some kind of summer treat that's not Sumin waiting for I need to look up what that is when we get back. It might just help encourage us to really give the investigation our all. What is Sumin? What is that? Sumin is a thin noodle made of wheat, often used in East Asian dishes. Okay. Oh, is, oh, is that like the cold noodles? Oh, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. It's served cold with light flavored dipping sauce. Yo, I've had that. It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, some restaurants offer nagashi somen, flowing noodles in the summer. These noodles are placed in a long flume of bamboo across the length of the restaurant. The flume carries clear ice cold water as someone passes by. Yeah, I've seen this. Diners pick it up mop with their chopsticks and dip them in suyu sauce. Catching the noodles requires a fair amount of dexterity, but noodles that are not caught by the time they get are not eaten, so get, uh, dinners are press diners are pressured to catch as much as they can. A few luxury establishments put someone in real streams so they can enjoy uh, their meal in a beautiful garden setting. Really? That's cool. Yay, yeah, yeah, I've seen that, where like the noodles flow down a bamboo and you have to catch them. It's such a cool thing. Yeah, no, I've, I've not had the ones that flow down. But I've had the noodles that you dip in in the sauce, and they're cold, and it is so delicious. So delicious. Highly recommend if you can find a place that has cold noodles, you give it a try. Authentic Japanese, at least. Got it. I'll think about what to make while you're out. Yay! Okay, see you later. Later. Uh, something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> I'm I'm still waiting for the you remind me of my brother to pop up, but it's I she's clearly wanting to say it and just holding it in, right? Alright, I think I'll go get started on lunch prep. What are you guys gonna do? I mean, because I'm just looking at him, this is Shiro's hair, but white. Make it red, that's Shiro, right? A hundred percent. Like this this is the most outfit that when you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, no, you are Shiro. Right? Alright, I think I'll go get started on lunch prep. What are you guys gonna do? What do you say, Master? I say let's go out for a while. Understood. If you run into anything that looks even remotely dangerous, make sure to run away the first chance you get. Yes, we know. Ah, oh, Christine, my ray of morning sunshine. If you are going out on a walk, then please take an apple with you. Is this a gold apple? According to a Welsh proverb, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. We all just sit there. Doctor. Don't mind if I do then. 
May luck be with you. He seems more normal in this outfit, I'll say. Dang! Bro, those shades are wild. It's not often we get to spend time alone together, is it, Master? So, what would you like to do? Oh, hi! Oh, Master, there you are. I'm glad I finally found you. Adelante? Yes, it is I. I have not been able to get a hold of you since ray shifting here. But I have been watching over the younger servants in the meantime. Fortunately, they have not been especially scared since they are servants and all. How have you been faring? Ba 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 ba. I see. Sessioin Lily, huh? Yes, I will keep an eye out for her as well. Servant or not, it cannot be safe for a child to wander the mountains alone. All that aside, it is exceptionally hot here. Would you happen to know of a place where I could cool off? There's a lake! Is there something wrong with the cottage? Oh, well, um, let us just say I am not overly fond of places like that. At any rate, all I wish to know is whether or not there is somewhere nearby where, uh, where I may cool off. Do you happen to know There is a lake! What about a riverbank or the lake? I have already been to both numerous times. Besides, even I can tell there's a powerful curse on- Oh, that's right. And that is not even getting into the strange creatures that emerge from it. Uh, how about you come with us on our walk, and we can look for a new place to cool off together? That seems like a good idea to me. What do you think, Lady Adelante? That sounds perfect, thank you. By the way, I have not seen some of the servants who came here on the first day in some time. Did you already finish repairing this singularity? If so, they may have returned home ahead of us. I very much doubt that's the case. Yeah, where's, like, where'd Koo go? Hmm, and I suppose it, it'd be my imagination playing tricks on me. Surely they cannot all be abandoning their duties to go off and play after all. Alright, shall we go see what we can find in the way of places to cool down? Oh, a bamboo grove. How quaint. I suppose this bamboo forest is cool enough. Okay, there goes my, like, guess. I was going to get. I was like, are we actually not in Japan, but in North America? Because, you know, being in North America is kind of a staple of the horror genre. Well, this confirms it's not, because we ain't got these here. It is still contaminated with curses? Indeed, it is very pungent for me perhaps due to my strong sense of smell. Huh? Is something wrong? I think I just felt a cool breeze. Really? Where did it come from, I see? Very well, let us go see what is over there. I will lead the way. Have you considered taking off the boar? That might... That might cool you off. A cave, hmm? And a fairly spacious one at that. Now I see. No sunlight reaches this cave, so it's oddly frosty, isn't it? This does seem like it would be a pleasant place to hang out during the summer. Indeed, apparently it is so pleasant. That it has attracted demonic beasts seeking refuge from the heat as well. Shall we dispose of them? Very well. Master, why don't you just sit back and relax? These creatures won't even be a challenge for us. Come, let us begin. So is it literally going to be... Is this going to not even have, like, my my symbols for my stuff, just so that it's hiding kind of who who I am? Could be that. Um, okay, so we want... Yeah, let's get a strong... Say, sure. And let's go... Switch you out for... Let's go with you. And let's bring... I still can't believe I got her. Switch you out for... Uh, let's go... Honestly, you'll still do good damage, so we'll go with you. Whoop! Too expensive! Okay. Um... Let's just go with that for now. Okay! Let's do this. So. Oh, it's a dehydrant's basilisks. Okay. I see. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of stars out of nowhere. Oh well, don't mind if I do for this. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go one, two. How much damage are you gonna do with the Buster Buster? Bruh. 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 Sick. Did she get a new... Was that always her extra attack? I don't... I don't remember it being that. Huh. Maybe I just haven't used an extra attack with her in a long time, but I don't remember the last hit being like that. Hmm. Well. Start with this. Nice. God, I love the fact that she got a buff to just be ridiculously unga bunga. You're making a character for me. Okay. Sounds good. What was that noise? Also, those shoes must be a killer to fight in. Impossible. Do people cosplay with those? Good goodness, like you're gonna die. I swear, most of, most of like, um, you know, the fate cosplays, it's like they're all high heels or crazy stuff. Good, the stalactites are still on her. Why do you care? I think it will lie down for a bit. Do not worry, I will be awake in a moment if necessary. Lady Adelante must be exhausted. She's already fast asleep. What shall we do in the meantime, Master? Why don't we just, like, hang out for a while? Just chill? That sounds nice. In fact, this should be a perfect opportunity to eat the apples we brought with us. I want to see, like, AP has been restored. Uh, oh! Come to think of it, didn't you know Yume Ren when you were still alive? Oh! Ah, so you know about that. Yes, I did know her back when I was still That might have been in the Lost Belt that I completely forgot about. That was also when I came to know what sort of person she is. Though it certainly was hard to believe upon first meeting her. Huh? Did I have feelings for her? <laughs> not at all. I'll admit to admiring her in many ways, but definitely not in a romantic sense. I'm as human as anyone else after all, so I'd like to think I know what genuine love and affection look like. And you may run is, in a word, um... Master, can I ask you please not tell her what I'm about to say? Uh-huh, sure. Alright, Yume Ren is, in a word, entertaining. Yes, I think that's the word that sums her up best. Come now, Master, you don't have to laugh that much. Maybe there's a better word to describe her, but if there is, I don't know it. She may look like a beautiful woman, but as she is not actually human, she made a huge impact wherever she went simply by living her life. In the last moments of my life, right before I drank that poison, the visit she paid me gave me the strength to face my end without fear. I know she's not here right now, but it's still rather embarrassing to talk about this, so... Would it be alright if we discussed something else? No, I want to hear you talk about her some more. Why would you insist on that now? That said, I suppose it wouldn't be too much trouble to oblige. No, don't skip ahead. And so I went on to tell Master all about her. The way she lived, the battles she fought. He nodded along attentively to every word I spoke. Human, hero, divine spirit, there is not a single category which can define her. Though she remains staunchly alone, indifferent to worldly affairs, her freewheeling nature betrays no hint of it. She is but a single flower that has continued to bloom quietly yet unyieldingly throughout all of history. It is worth mentioning, they never call her... Akuta Hinako in this and that's why there's some people like how can you do this event with being in part one it's like they, they don't they don't put two and two together ah, that was a good nap huh and then there was the time when she hey Prince of Lanling hey oh good morning Lady Avalanti what is it well I do not know what you're talking about but it seems to have put master to sleep uh huh oh, you're right I'm so sorry, Master. I didn't realize how much I was rambling. Nah, it was fine. You just a lot to. Uh, at least I know beyond a doubt. <laughs> you no, know, I know how you feel about her now, bro. 
I feel like I've just given you the complete opposite impression that I wish to impart. All that aside, this save cave seems to go on much farther than I thought. It looks like we still have some time. Shall we try exploring a little further inside? Yeah, sure, let's do it. All right, I will take the lead. Here, Master, you should hold my hand just to be safe. We do not want you tripping and hurting yourself. No, but I need to save myself for marriage. Thank you, Adelante. Not a problem, although... <laughs> yes? Oh, I was just thinking about something someone once said about summer vacation being the time for exploration. I see. Well, we certainly are doing that now, aren't we? You know, exploring this cave does make me feel like a child again. Have you ever gone spelunking before, Master? Only in spelunky. I'm gonna say yep. Is that so? That is a bit of... Spelunking, for those who don't know, is the word for cave exploring. That is a bit of a surprise. For one thing, I was not even sure people today had any opportunities to go spelunking, even if they wished to. Ah, there's, a, there's like places you can go that are specifically made for it. I went into a cenote once. Perhaps because the cave seems to be sloping deeper underground, it feels as though it is getting even cooler in here. It does, doesn't it? I can also sense someone here. Prince of Lanling? Right. You there, show yourself! Uh, sup? Looks like you found my pissing cave. Oh, now I can't piss alone at all. Lord Mandricardo, what in the world are you doing all the way down here? Pissing? Uh, nothing really. There's no way in hell I'm telling them that I was pissing in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm telling them that I happen to find this nice gloomy place after saying goodbye to the sumo group and wandering around aimlessly for a while. And decided to just live here from now on. In my piss hole. Uh, I'm guessing you just happen to find this place where you're wandering around aimlessly? How the hell did you figure that out, Master? Yeah, you're dead on. Great. Now I wish I'd never materialized. And here I thought we were the first to explore this cavern. Oh, nah. I definitely don't think we're the first by any means. Really? Oh, it also gets way darker from here, so if you just wanted to explore this cave, you'll probably want to call it a... Huh? Huh. What? I, um... Is that a doll? So I've been thinking about this. Are we in China, actually? Is this actually a... We thought we were in... Japan, but we actually went to China. Cause, uh, there's been a couple things. Beep. Clack, 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 Beep. Preparing to excavate intruders. Excavate? Did this thing just speak and it said excavate? For the moment, we should probably assume it's hostile and prepare for combat. Oh? Initiating self-destruct. Clack, 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 clack. Oh, cool. They just blow up. The hell? I guess I wasn't kidding when it said self-destruct. That really startled me. I can still hear the explosion ringing in my ears. Where in the world did this doll come from? I would suggest bringing it back to study, but there may not be much point in now and it's in so many pieces. And there seemed to be little point in our remaining here. Why don't we go back to the cottage now and discuss this with everyone there? Besides, I'm curious what the others may have learned. Good point. Very well then, let us call an end to this spelunking expedition. Sure thing. How about you, Mandricardo? What will you do now? Guess I gotta find another piss hole. I've got a bad feeling about staying put here any longer, so I'll go find somewhere else to chill. He's just really afraid to piss around other dudes, you know. That's fair, it's understandable. Some dudes, some guys, they need their uh, their individual, you know, little, little safe spaces to piss in. It's true. I'll return to the children. They may be safe during the day, but night is another story. I see. So you've been encountering enemies as well, then? Yes, though I have, of course, sent them packing, as they say nowadays. In that case, it would probably be better if we don't merge our groups. We'll need another safe place we can go if anything should happen to the cottage, after all. So, if the worst-case scenario comes to pass, we'll come meet up with you then. I see. In that case, the children and I will also look for another safer area. Thank you. That would be a big help. So you're going to return to the cottage now? Yes, we are. Besides, it's almost lunchtime. Alright, I'll go with Adelante, then. 
I'd much rather go with Master instead, but I feel bad about Adelante being the only one to look after the kids. Well, I guess they're not technically kids, but either way, sticking together seems like the right way to go now. Understood. If any of you should run into any trouble, please don't hesitate to come to the cottage yourselves. Much appreciated. Come on then, Mandricardo. All right. All right, Master. Why don't we head back now, too? Okay. I want some noodles in a bamboo flute. Put my mouth at the bottom and just eat it all. Information restricted? Okay. What do we got here? Well, we haven't run into a zombie yet. Okay. <clears throat> there you are. Yume Ren's group is already here. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Huh? What's up with you? Nothing. It's nothing. Okay, anyway, we found a new building. Oh, what kind of building? Is it the supermarket that they talk about? It's so absurd. It's easier if you just see it for yourself. Are we going right now? But I want to eat. I want food. I knew there was something weird about this singularity, but I still didn't get just how weird. Yeah, what is this place's deal, yo? Right? It's so nuts I can't even be creeped out anymore. I can forget about that creepy house. We can almost not, and we can almost just not count the crazy dream hotel. But I don't believe we could have been missing this place the entire time. You're not wrong. Hell, I'd go even further. There's no earthly way a building like that could ever be built in a remote place like this. Which probably means this is one of those collections William mentioned in the dream hotel. A collection of fear and death. Right, that seems pretty likely. But what's so scary about a place like that? Explain, Murasaki. Um, well, at the moment, all I can say is it's a very big building. Well, yeah, sure. Still, I suppose I can also say the building's like this. Is it a mall? For, like, Day of the Dead? Or what's the one in the mall? Dawn of the Dead? Shaun of the Dead? It's one of the of the deads that takes place in a mall. And they had to literally put a thing on the, um, the Box of Dead Rising to say it's not associated with it because it was so similar. Still, I suppose I can also say that buildings like this tend to be a sign of you-know-what showing up. You-know-whats? You know, those creatures whose names start with Zom and ends with B. Or are we doing the thing where we can't say zombie? Gotcha. Zom and B. So, zombie? What's a zombie? Corpses. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Moving corpses. Oh, you mean like Jiangxi? Yes, sort of. They're very similar, except they don't hop. They're also less hot. But they're not the same thing at all. Okay, okay, damn. Never seen her so worked up before. I wish I could just stay in the cottage with Phantom. I understand, but we have to take action if we're going to resolve the singularity. We'll either have to go back there before night falls, or we'll have to barricade ourselves in here once it does. Yeah, you're right. Okay, we can do the Why Would she appear there? Yeah, maybe, but don't forget. I've been dying every day since we got... Girl, I wake up in the morning dying. It's what we do. Take some pills, get over it. We can do this. I'm sensing a lack of confidence here. Well, what else am I supposed to say? Well, we'll never get anywhere just standing around here. We may as well go in and see what we're up against. Wow, it's big in here. Look at this. You got tied. You got b weird that the books are here, then like the food is there. You got the frozen second. This is weird. Is this a Costco? Are we in Costco? It's so big in here. Can I get a dollar fifty hot dog? Seems like a big box retail store or a wholesale supermarket. Wow, that's the biggest carton of ice cream I've ever seen. Ah, yes, ice cream by the gallon. The stuff every child dreams about. Of course, most kids who actually get one usually get tired of it by the third bowlful. Yep, and I'm throwing most of it away. Yep. But hey, at least it's fun. Well, wow. Wow, Ruby just spitting hard truths here. Hey, just because you don't have any dreams doesn't mean you have to ruin everyone else's. Foo, foo, foo. Now, Foo's not long as it to say he gets it. No, it's true, though. We're going to barricade ourselves in. This is the place to do it. It's already got everything we could need. Um, excuse me, everyone, but I have some good news and some bad news to share. All right, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is, it looks like our entering this place has served as a trigger of sorts. As such, I have to ask that you all prepare for the upcoming battles. What's the good news? 
The good news is that we're now one step closer to solving this case, I think. I guess that's one way to look at it. But we gotta fight these zombie things, huh? Okay, where are they? Right over there. Yep! <laughs> Whoa! There really are zombies! Why are you acting surprised, bro? You fight the few fought them before. Wait, those are corpses? And they're moving? So zombies are basically moving corpses? In essence, yes. So then, they basically are Jiangxi. Why didn't you say so? Well, at, at any rate, we should begin by taking care of these zombies. From there, we should be able to see what our opponent, or rather, this story is up to. Are they walkers? Runners? Something else? Oh, I hope they're only walkers. <laughs> it's like, oh no, they're hoppers! They are Jiangxi! Fu! Shh! Try to stay quiet, Fu! Good, walkers. That makes us easier. Everyone be very careful not to let a zombie bite you, or the consequences could be disastrous. That especially goes for you, Master. If their undeath is a result of some chemical exposure and your body registers their contamination as poison, then their bites may not affect you, but we can't take that chance. Got it? You want us to be careful about being bitten. I'm guessing you're concerned about you-know-what? Yes, exactly. Ordinarily, something like that wouldn't affect a servant. But in this singularity, we can't take any ordinary rules like that for granted. If it should turn out that we were worried for nothing, well, the additional caution won't hurt. Understood. Given how slow and lumbering they are, I'm confident they won't so much as scratch us. Why would you say that? There may be a lot of them, but it's nothing we can't handle. I want a walking dead muso. Like, for real. Oh. Please- Oh, this is cool. Okay, okay. We gotta put you in- This is- Okay. Okay, well, let's give you an attack up then. Yeah. We got- We got the dude cards. Yeah, climbing battle. Two dudes climbing as fast as they can. Okay, well, here we go. So are these just going to be the general zombie sprite? No! These are new. That's kind of cool, actually. I mean, they're going to be used later, probably, but... I'll just start with some of this. Swing at air? Okay. I kind of I kind of like how that they're they're doing that right they're just swinging at the air and that's causing stuff okay I like that right because it's like I I it makes sense he's building momentum right it'd be kind of neat if their super is bite and then they insta kill that'd be that'd be pretty cool it would be annoying as heck to fight but it'd be a cool concept you get that get meter big damage I like how they're dropping veggies too how nice so this gives meter to everyone right or well to you Enjoy that it's kind of what we're focusing on to get some stuff with you uh, let's go with this okay so close. Let's save it for the, till, till we have the last one there. So we'll go next turn. We'll we'll give that to you. We'll go one, two, three. Okay. All right. Last one's here. Walking zombie. This dude's got really persistent zombie. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's go with that and let's give you blue because blue gives you just a ridiculous amount of stuff. Is this for everyone? All allies, yep. Um, and let's go. You don't have any crit stuff, so I'm not too worried, but we can give you extra refill. Cool. So let's go one, two, three. Okay. I 
Did that kill? Yes, it did. Look at that damage, bruh. Nice. Oh, man. How persistent? That's how it goes? Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> wow! Come on! That's hilarious. That's so stupid. <laughs> And, like, so many things popped up and she died again. <laughs> Everyone with their pained expressions. Well, you got something to say. Spit it out already. I just... How? <laughs> I got careless. I guess all more Saki's... Exhortations. That's a word. Of how important it was we not get bitten had no effect on you at all, then. Well, how was I supposed to know getting bitten would kill me? Well, maybe it was for the best that Lady Yumei Red was the only one to be bitten, since she'll eventually return to her old self. If anyone else had been bitten instead, the outcome would have been much worse. Excuse me, Lady Murasaki, but what exactly would this theoretical worse outcome have entailed? Well, this is a zombie movie we're in now, right? Usual rules say that if a zombie bites you, you become one yourself. I see, that sounds positively nightmarish. It is. Zombified servants have no business existing in our world. Maybe in X's world, but not ours. Has that ever been a thing? Also, those are just straight-up Kit Kats. Those are just straight-up Kit Kats. Wow, I completely agree. Imagine one of your loved ones losing their soul, and you have to destroy the animated remains of their body. That sort of inner conflict is key to what makes zombie movies terrifying. Oh man, that sounds awful. In the unlikely, okay, extremely unlikely case that Lord Shang Yi were to ever end up a zombie. I'd sooner kill myself than harm him. What? Wouldn't it be impossible since he's technically a robot? Shut up before I haunt your ass to death, Kohai. Ah. This is fun. This, this, this is a fun summer event. I like it. So are we, are we blocked until we do some more free quests? Yep. Seems like it. How much do we got to do? Uh, 20 chickens? Oh, okay, fine. Well, uh, let's run it the one time at least, because then we can get the, the file. And then otherwise it's going to be a case of just waiting around. Okay, we got anyone here that's being good? Junkers. Junkers? Let's see here. Anyone got some big attack up? Sure. 250. Dang, yeah. And we'll switch you off for a... Do we have any riders? Yes, we do. And we can get you... Um... Do you want... Let's see. No, you'll do more damage. Okay, even with you not leveled up, you will do more damage, so... Oh, we get to see Brynhild in her other outfit. Nice. Excite Market. So it's not a mall, but it's close-ish. It's the closest I feel that would make... Because a whole mall popping up is a whole different thing, right? But a big box store? It's possible. Makes sense. I mean, makes sense as much as it could. Oh, the black dress is nice. Hmm, it looks a little similar to... Also, there's no chickens here. It looks a little similar, though, to a uh, certain other servant who has similar... Ooh, that game. A certain other servant who is similar. A similar lover of a, a Sieg type. Also, you're, like, super dying already. Let's pop this on. Just so you don't die, that'd be cool. Um, I'm going to hold off from using this. Oh, two times for three turns. Heck yeah. That's good. Let's do that. And let's go one, two, three. Nice. Good. Okay. Okay. And, um, yeah, sure. 
Is that enough? Is it 20? No, it's, yeah, nice. Perfect. So let's go one, two, three. Okay. I killed them all. How much are you going to get? 15% per turn ain't bad either. It's really not. Is it chickens? No! Ice cream eater. Yeah, he looks... Yeah, that makes sense. Where do we get chickens then? I swore it'd be like, oh, you beat this and you get chickens. But no! Not a chicken! I don't see a single chicken. Let's do some big damage. Wow, that was not as much as I kind of thought. Well, I guess it is 100,000 some. You can hit Burnhill this time and give give her some some meter, I guess. Okay, no, fine. Um, okay, let's go. Is this on you or other people? Absorb HP. Not gonna do that. Instead, let's just go with this. Okay, and let's go. One, two, three. Nice. Well, that calling call, call, calling card was wasted, but that's fine. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. It's real good. That's a that's such a good noble phantasm. I love it. Okay, so we got that one. Where the f oh divine? There was divine here. Okay, cool. Well, that that's how we get the uh, get that one. I guess the ice cream monster is divine. Sure. Apple. So we did get the the file at least. So let's read that. Yeah, 20 chickens. Where the frick do we find chickens? Am I crazy? Is there any of these that have chickens? Where's the chickens? What? Oh, maybe here, actually. Okay. Well, uh, f submitted report filed late. What do we got here? Submitted report filed late. They're digital. File 2, submitted report filed late. Experiment number 124459, failed, artificial male, age 29, full body disappears, review procedure required. Experiment number 124460, failed, virtual female, age 19, subject experiences mental breakdowns within 10 minutes, procedure improvements required. Experiment number 124461, success, artificial male, age 42, success, subject experience, <clears throat> but retains physical abilities, cell activity stimulated, procedure adjustments required. Experiment number 124462, failed, artificial male, age 23, cancerous lesions spread across the entire body following hyperstimulation of cells, subject incinerated, complete procedure overhaul required. Amendum 1. Experiment number 124463 cancelled. Reason unforeseen issues. Addendum 2. Mask and doll pairings are traditionally said to last for an extended period. Oh, dolls. Right, we did see a doll. But this must be at its limit by now. We have already reached the point where we are unable to continue without sealing most away most of the dolls. The problem is the technology used to create these dolls has... Again. I don't want to jump ahead, but there is a doll maker who I'm surprised hasn't been brought up yet. Okay, we'll check here. If there's if these are chickens, well then at least we know what to do, right? Do we have any Okay, we'll go with you again. We'll go to kill Lanza. We got you, 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 you. Um we'll go with this just to get an extra one and uh yeah, there we go. All right. Let's chiggity check out if these are chickens. What do we got?
Game? You good? I hear my computer like making noises. Chickens! Chicken that awakened its feral side. Strong. Okay, let's just go one, two, three. Okay. Didn't kill, that's fine. Well, he says this is gonna be easy if it's all chickens. I was really worried that it'd be one chicken. Let's go. Uh, one, two, three. Get some meter there. Okay, I guess I should pop on their actual, like, passives, huh? I gotta get those going. Okay, let's go that on you. These guys have a surprising amount of HP, too. And you know what? Let's go... Some of that. Some of that. And let's go... One... Two, because I feel that'll kill, and then we'll move on with that. Nice. Nice. Dang. Dang, they weren't kidding. That chicken sure can peck. Don't kill, actually. Good. Can you get your meter there? Oh, no, that's Burn Hill. Never mind. Just looking at the wrong thing. I was like, I was like, your combo then should give that. Well, then she got it. There we go. Perfect. All right. What, what, what chickens do we got here? That's not a chicken at all. That's not a chicken. It's not a chicken. Well, let's go. Is is there a single target or is it multi? All enemies. Heck yeah. Nice. One, two, three. All right. Nice damage. You like to see it. All right, how many, how many, how many chickens have we killed? Okay, only need one more, and that's another divine. Heck yeah. Well, you know what? Just in case, I think I will call this here, and next time I will get done the chicken grinding, which is just a fun thing to say. And uh, yeah, then we will we will continue on. So thank you all for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We'll see you then. Ciao.